So sometimes you're going to be asked to do a ratio question that requires you to figure out the difference between some type of unit rate. Here's our question. Sally Sweets sells a 13 ounce bag of candy for $3.90. Candyopolis sells a two and a half pound bag of the same candy for $6.50. What is the difference in price per pound, one pound equaling 16 ounces? Well, there's a lot of information to unpack in this one question right now. First of all, I know that I have one store, Sally's Sweets. I'm gonna mark that with an SS. Sally's Sweets is selling a 13 ounce bag of candy for $3.90. And I have this other store, Candyopolis. They're selling a two and a half pound bag of candy for $6.50. You have been dealing with this type of math in real life without even knowing it. You're trying to find which store has the better rate and by how much, right? Our final question is asking us, what is the difference in price per pound? Well, I know that this word difference is telling me that I'm going to have to do some subtraction. I don't know when yet, but I know that I'm going to have to subtract. So that's just going to clue me on to do a little subtraction at the end. And this other clue, price per pound. Well, price per pound is something called a unit rate. It's giving me a hint to the setup of my proportion. If two and a half pounds is costing me $6.50, I want to know what will the price be for one pound of the object. If 13 ounces is costing me $3.90, what is one pound of this object gonna cost me? I don't know. But once we figure that out, we'll have the different stores' prices per pound, we could subtract them and take the difference. Well, let's start with this Candyopolis store, and I'm gonna zoom in here. I know that Candyopolis is selling a two and a half pound bag for $6.50. Well, I don't wanna deal with a fraction, so I'm just gonna turn that into a decimal. 2.5 pounds is selling for $6.50. Well, if I know this, I have a ratio. I could set it up figuring out price per pound. Now there are some shortcuts and if you know a shortcut, feel free to go and use it, but we're going to set up a regular ratio right now the long way. Since I'm looking for price per pound, that unit rate's telling me that I want my price on top and my pounds on the bottom. Well, 650 is selling two and a half pounds, and that's gonna be equal to whatever the price is for one pound of this candy. I can cross multiply and solve because equivalent fractions have equivalent cross products. Some of you guys may have learned this as cross multiplication. 650 times one, well anything times one is itself. So that just gets me 650. 2.5 times X, well that gets me 2.5 times X. I can solve a regular equation and get X alone. Divide by 2.5, divide by 2.5. 650 divided by 2.5 gets me 2.6, or realistically, $2.60. Well, here, I know that one pound of this candy from this store, from Candyopolis, is going to cost us $2.60. Well, I can move over to my other side for Sally's Sweets and do the same type of calculation. Well, I know that I want price per pound, so I want my price on top. 390 over 13 ounces, equaling some amount of money over one pound. Oh, but something doesn't look right. Notice how when I did Candyopolis, I had pounds compared to pounds. My units were the same, so I ratio was going to be in proportion. Take a look at Sally's Sweets. I have ounces to pounds. Those are not the same units. If I continue on from this point, I'm gonna get a wrong answer. Whenever you're doing a ratio, you need to make sure your units are the same. 
Now, I don't know how many pounds 13 ounces is, and it would be a little bit hard to convert that. However, this passage does tell me that one pound equals 16 ounces. So if I rewrote this one pound as 16, that's the same thing. 16 ounces is the same as one pound. So I have ounces to ounces, crisis averted, my units are the same. From here, I can cross multiply to solve because equivalent fractions will have equivalent cross products. 3.9 times 16 gives me 62.4 and 13 times x just gets me 13x. I want to get x by myself, so I'm going to divide by 13, divide by 13, 62.4 divided by 13 gets me 4.8, and 4.8 equals x. So, one pound from this store is going to cost us $4.80. Now let's check, does this make sense? Well, Sally's Sweets was selling a 13-ounce bag of candy for $3.90. If we want one pound of that candy, which we figured out was 16 ounces, well, 16 ounces is more than 13 ounces. So it should cost more, and it does. It cost $4.80. Now, Candyopolis was selling a two and a half pound bag for $6.50. I wanted to know the, what one pound of that was going to cost. Well, one pound is less than two and a half pound, so it should cost less, and that's what we end up. 260 is less than 650. I have my prices per pound for each store. Now all I'm gonna do is just some subtraction. I'm gonna take the 480 and subtract the 260 and I get a total of $2.20. So the difference in price per pound from these two candy stores is answer choice B, $2.20. If this video had helped you study for the CAST, please feel free to leave a comment and good luck on your exams.